Hi, I'm Jake from TradeLab.ai. In this video, we're going to be discussing how to set up DCA bots in TradeLab. So to get started, we'll open up the strategy builder. And at this welcome screen, we'll click on the DCA grid trading option. Setting up DCA in TradeLab can be done in a variety of different ways. Today, we're going to be using the generic DCA template, which we just got from pressing that button. Uh, it cloned the template for us. It's going to ask us to set up our alerts. So we'll click do it now. This uh, DCA template is set up with a generic buy and sell setup, uh, along with doing short and long trades in one strategy. So it is a combo template. It'll first ask us to set up our exchange and select our symbol. We'll click continue and it'll ask us to set up our alerts. So we'll look at our alerts, we'll grab our message, and we can put that into trading view. To create an alert, we would figure out whatever indicator we want to use, press the plus button. We would come into here and select the indicator and then fill out what we want uh, at the top, whatever value we want to compare. At that point, we would put in our message at the bottom. So we would delete everything, put in our message here. And we would also grab the webhook URL and we would put that in the top right here. Okay. Uh, we can also name this, name it buy, uh, and name it buy DCA. And then we can press create. Okay. That'll create us our alert and that will send the alert that we need over to trade lab. We can do the same thing for our sell alert, copy this and create a sell alert in trading view. Uh, once you're finished with that, we'll click all done and we'll have our buy and sell alerts all set up and we'll have the rules set up to receive those alerts and place orders. If that was a little too fast, we do have a couple other videos that go through how to set up a generic template, uh, setting up your alerts and explaining all the different aspects of setting up alerts in trading view. In this video, I want to focus more on the DCA aspect of this strategy. So let's talk about how we set up our DCA. First, we want to take a look at the lines panel. So if we take a look at lines over here. So I mentioned earlier that you can set up DCA in a couple different ways. We're going to be setting up DCAs with our lines. So these lines are going to place conditional orders right after the trade is open. And you'll be able to see those lines on your exchange. This is the most efficient way to set up uh, DCA lines. That way the exchange actually monitors them and can do that quicker than anybody else can. We can, however, set up DCAs based off of alerts. So if you have alerts and you wanna set up DCA orders based off of those alerts, I have a video on how to do that. Uh, just search for DCA with alerts. So for this example, we already have three DCA lines set up. We can see in our lines panel, they are at 2%. 4% and 6%. Each time when they're hit, we're going to be increasing our position by 50% of our original amount uh, whenever they're hit. If we don't like these lines, we can either edit them or remove them. I'll go ahead and remove these lines and we'll create new lines in their place. And I'll show you how to do that. If we hit the plus button, it'll ask us what type of line do we want to create? We'll select DCA. And that will ask us how many lines do we want to make. We can make multiple lines at one time and it will set them all up together. So if I want to make eight DCA lines, I'll just put eight right here and I'll hit net. How do we want to space our eight lines? So we can either set offsets for each or we can do equally spaced. If we wanted to do two, four, six, eight, like we did before, uh, we could do equally spaced and set an offset of two. If we wanted to pick offsets for each, um, we could put different prices for each one. I'm going to pick offsets for each. And then when each of these lines are hit, are they going to add the same amount uh, or different amounts? So we can either pick different amounts for each or have the same amounts for each. I'm going to pick different amounts for each just to show how that looks. So I'm going to say next. And now it's going to ask me where do I want to place the lines. So I'm creating eight lines all at one time. So it's going to show me eight different boxes. And each of these are a line that I'm going to set up. So 
a 1% chart move would be 1% below the entry price for a long. And if I hit that, if the chart moves at 1%, then um, I will go ahead and add to my position. I could do 2%, 3%. I could also space these out however I want. They don't have to be equally spaced at all. Um, I also don't have to go in order. I could put one, five, seven, eight, and then I could do four down here if I really wanted to. There's no reason to, but you could. Um, and I also want to talk about the price types. So here we can see that I'm doing 1% chart move. You could also say margin or percentage. So if I'm, if I've lost, say, um, 20% of my position, then I can go ahead and, uh, place a DCA and you can do it off of the loss, right? Or the profit. Okay. We can also do a USD relative or coin relative. So if you want a DCA every 50 cents, you can do USD relative and say 0 0.50. And now if it hits the 50 cent mark, it will uh, DCA. Uh, if we wanted to do every 50 cents, then it would be 50 cents and a dollar and then 1.5 and then two, just like that. We could also do equally spaced, like I was saying before, and have it do that for us. Okay. One other thing we have in here is the USD exact price. So the USD exact price allows us to say, if we're trading Bitcoin, we could say 22,565, and that's the exact price that I want to DCA at. Uh, we usually use USD exact price when we're setting up dynamic DCA. I am going to do another video on dynamic DCA. So this is hooking up your uh, amounts or your prices to trading view or some other alert system, and then having the alerts tell you where your DCA should be. So uh, we could check the alert box. So we could check the dynamic box and then we could target one of our alert fields and it would allow us to set that price. Okay, more on that in another video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and set up my chart move percentages. And now that we have those set up, I'll go ahead and hit next. When the lines are hit, what do we wanna do? So we wanna add to position because this is a DCA. And how much do we want to add? So we want to add, uh, say, 100% of the position, and that will double what we have in there, okay? But if we do 100% of the position a second time, we'll be doubling what we already doubled. So if we doubled it the first time, we now have 200%. And if we do 100% of that 200%, that ends up giving us 400%, doubling it again, okay? So now we've quadrupled what we had in just two DCAs, okay? If you don't wanna do that, then you wanna do a percentage of original amount. And so then you could say 100% of original amount and 100% of original amount. And if I put $50 into the trade, then every DCA will be $50, $50 uh, over and over, okay? So I, I did wanna show you what this looked like when we can set all different uh, prices. Of course, you can set some of these the same, uh, if you wanted to change any of them, you can. So I can make this one 50%. Uh, I can make this one 10%. And we'll do 100%, 100%. Okay. You can also uh, check the dynamic box here. Once again, uh, we'll talk about dynamic, uh, but that's an option for amounts as well. Hit the next button. It'll ask us what type of orders do we want to place. So we can either do limit or market orders. For DCA, I'll go ahead and do a limit order. And I'll name my line DCA line. We'll press finish. And it'll go ahead and create us our eight DCA lines. We can see all of our lines and where they're placed. So 0.5%, 1%, 1.5%, 1 and so on. And we can see how much they're going to increase uh, the position by each time that they're hit. Okay. We can press save and we can see all of our lines on the right side now. And if we hit the edit button at the very top, we can edit all of our lines in one place. So we can see all the lines here and edit them. If this is a little too complicated for you, you can press the edit button on an individual line and it'll walk you through the setup again, doing the same thing that we just did. Okay. So that's how you set up DCA lines. Your DCA lines will only place whenever you enter a trade. Okay, so you must enter a trade first 
for your DCA lines to place. So to do that, we would go to trade settings and we would make sure that we have our trade amount set up. Uh, so if I have 5%, that's 5% of my balance. Uh, I could also do USD and I could say 50% and that would be, I could say 50 and that would be $50 for every trade that I place. You can also set up your leverage, uh, set up your leverage type from isolated to cross. And from there, uh, you should be ready to go. So we already have our alerts set up. We did that in the beginning. So if you send a buy alert from TradingView, uh, it will hit this long enter and it'll place an order. At this point, once it places the order, all of our DCA lines will go ahead and place. Okay, and then if we wanna exit the order, this is set up to send a sell alert and it will exit that trade. Okay, there's many other ways that you can configure this. Trade Lab is uh, made for customization. So if you want to exit a different way, you certainly can. We can also come into the lines panel and set up uh, take profits if that's what we want for our DCA lines. So we could set up a take profit. How many do we want? Uh, and then, you know, where do we want to place it and how much do we want to take? Right. Also, I should mention when you're creating take and stop lines with DCA lines, Whenever the DCA lines are hit, it will automatically trigger your uh, stop lines and take lines to reset. So your DCA is going to be changing your entry price. You're going to be changing your average entry price for your position. And as that average entry price changes, we're also going to be resetting your take lines and stop lines so that they adjust to that new entry price. So that's how you set up DCA. We'll go ahead and hit save and we'll hit quit. So here we can see our generic DCA example and it's already set up. It's looking for entry. So that means it's running uh, and it's ready to go. So it's listening for those alerts to come in from trading view. If you don't have alerts and you would rather open your DCA manually, you can do that. All you have to do is press the open trade now button. Um, and it also looks like this if they're on a different screen. So here's my generic DCA example. Here's the open trade now. So if we click open trade now, um, that will open up a trade and it'll place all of our DCA lines for us. So here we can see the trade opened. I have an open long now. So now that we've tested our strategy manually, if we did want to send uh, alerts to it, we can press the edit button and we can send test alerts by going to the alerts tab and send a test alert by clicking on this button. So if we wanted to close this now, so if it's open, we can send a test alert to sell. So I'll click the send test alert button and I'll hit the place real orders checkbox down here. If you leave this unchecked, it will run through and show you what it did, but it won't actually place the order. We'll hit send alert. And here we can see the alert that ran. And we can see the generic DCA example just ran. And it has, and we can see that our trade closed and our long exit placed uh, and closed to trade. Okay, so we can go back to my strategies. And we can see our generic DCA example is now looking for entry. It's been reset and it's ready for the next trade. All right, so that'll wrap up the DCA setup tutorial for Trade Lab. If you have any questions, you can always reach out by going to the help button down below and uh, pressing the create support ticket. You can also join us on Discord. And if you like this video, go ahead and leave us a like and subscribe for more updates. Thanks for watching and catch you next time.